What's going on guys? I am down here in southwest Wisconsin once again at Mike's Monitors. Every time Tinley rolls around, I have to stop by Mike's Monitors on my way to Tinley because there is always something new and amazing happening over here. And this time Mike has some brand new enclosures to show off and some brand new monitors. So right behind this door that I never fit through is Mike's Monitors. We're going in and I'm going to show you guys some of the changes and updates that are happening right here at Mike's Monitors. I think I just said Mike monitors way too much. I'm Dave Kaufman and these are my reptile adventures. All right, Mike, we are back here again for what is this the third time here? 3.0. 3.0. Love it. All right. So there's a lot of changes that have happened around here since the last time I was here. But over here, here, the Mertens are still going strong. Look at these guys. These guys here, these are my F1. So these are just coming into maturity. So in 20 late 2023 definitely in 2024 i'll be back on schedule with my mertens the two females my last two females i produced over 250 babies that i put out there and i'm sure uh, I, I hope i get the same with these guys the newest change that i have not yet seen look at this this is amazing thank you yeah. Now, what kind of monitors are these? These are, again, like we've seen in the 2.0, these are green tree monitors that I've bred to look like emerald tree boas. That is amazing. How did you do I, that? I do good. I just do good. How did you get them to degenerate their legs? You know what? I can't tell you, otherwise I'd have to take you out in the back and bury you. Well. So let me keep that secret. All right. I'm a little afraid now. They are just awesome animals, and what's really great about them is they're, they're pretty well low maintenance, and in a setup like this, it just takes care of itself. All I really do is feed them. Um, can't beat that. Can't beat that. So when I first got these guys, this was my one of my monitor socialization caging systems, and of course, it's all humid in here real nice. So much to my son's chagrin, we took all the dirt back out, filled it back up with water, uh, you know, seven o'clock the lights go out i come down about 9 30 always to check at night on how my animals are doing and they were locked up with the humidity change so um still didn't get no babies out of them but that switch in the humidity really set them off and the male was all over the females so. humidity is one of those things that so many keepers kind of take for granted yeah. i mean they just don't think that it's important and it really is it really it's, is it's almost as important it is as important as temperature absolutely yeah you know what else is new here what billy what's going on <laughs> i'm not new here no He's you're not, not. New here. He's we been on every one we so you were at the gecko symposium i'm filming this right before tinley yes and we waited an hour and a half for you to get there so it was you so could wonderful be in our video. you guys to wait yeah Absolutely. thank you so much yeah we ate dinner without you but so no uh, that's okay you okay. guys saved me leftovers all right yeah we so and you like, waited for me to get here before you filmed there we go there thank we go. you at yes. this point we're almost like the three stooges right but I want to know who's Mo, because I don't want to be Curly or the other guy. I think you're Curly. I dude. think you're oh, Curly. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I'll take it. As long as I'm not the other guy who gets slapped around all the time. That's right. Shemp. Oh, shemp. Shemp. Me, yeah. me, 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 me. All right, so we got our coming eyes still in these enclosures. Yep. And look at that. Big, He's hanging out right head here. here. And I actually, I was going to pair them up. You know, we were supposed to do this a little earlier. I was going to pair them up, but now that they're sleeping, I'm just going to leave them be for now. I'll open it up tomorrow before the show, and they'll have all weekend nice and private. This is my girl, Tiny. She's a four-year-old female, and she's not even three foot yet. So I'm hoping to produce smaller growing coming eye, Mindanaos, and um, I have her third clutch in the incubator of seven eggs. So she's working her way up. She is gorgeous. Yeah, she is a good-looking animal. And we have the Gothakis yes. over here still. Love these you, guys. You coined, you guys coined that name. Gothaki. So you no, Bill, uh, you coined me. the Gothaki. Yeah, you, you, that was That's what that. they look like. Yeah. The emo Aki. The emo Aki. They're dark and brooding. So, uh, look brooding. at these emo Akis. Let me get out the way. Look at that. How you doing, buddy? Wow, it is. So I just stuck my arm in here to film, and it is nice and humid in here. Oh, it's humid. It's their breeding season. I mean, look what's China. happening to my camera there. Yep. As soon as I stick my camera in this cage, it just, uh, hang on a second. Let me just start. But yeah, we got one hanging out in the tube. Uh, my Erkies scared that guy. And uh, let's see. Let's see in the nest box. No, I got nothing in the nest box. They're just hiding. You They're know, just like hiding. Like I said, the, the, uh, 
the lights had just gone out before we come down, so I turned them back on. Yeah. Everybody's in sleep mode, but. Well, there's a goth Aki butt right yep. there. Over here, yep. you've got the barrel, which I just love this, and inside. There's something new here, Dave. This is gonna be really cool for you to see. You have so, a milk frogs. Yep, and that is the dad, that is the mom, and that is the only tadpole I've ever brought to a froglet, and I got it back. My friend, uh, uh, I'm, I'm housing it for him for a while, so. That's cool. Yeah. Huh. yeah. How do you not love a milk frog? The only time I don't like milk frogs is when they jump out and stick to my face. It's kind of weird for me. All right, moving back here. Moving back here, ignore all this stuff because this is stuff I'm keeping for a friend who's... Uh, What's, what, what is it? This is a crested gecko. He's oh. gonna start with crested geckos. Which, <clears throat> yeah, right. monitors. This crested oh. gecko in this cage, it's a temperate. It's, this guy's yeah, got yeah. a great cage at home. So that's where I put his food in there, uh -huh. and just I'm a monitor guy. Yeah, I got the emerald tree boas. I'm not afraid of much. I'm afraid of this guy. You're afraid of a crested gecko. Oh, he will come right to the top here to try to bite your finger no, off. No, he's gonna. He's trying to lick you. Yeah. And, and... Okay. Well, I'm not into licking, so <laughs> yeah. especially when he licks like this. No, he's he's pretty vicious when I drop food in there. I, you are afraid of a crested gecko. I can't wrap my head around that. I'm afraid of a crested gecko. It's funny what, yeah, it's funny what Mike's afraid of, I guess. Yeah. I didn't know that about you either. What yeah. are you afraid of, Billy? I don't, I still don't like centipedes. Centipedes. Oh. Centipedes in the hobby still kind of freak me out. They're, they're so fast. You see, Heads. centipedes yeah. I can see. Crested geckos? Well, There's a lot of 16 year old girls right now who think it's funny that you're afraid of crested geckos. That is, that is 100% true. Well, you know true. what, maybe you got some nice, Attractable one. Well, well, I want to take it out now. Go no, ahead. Let's see what's going on with this thing. Let's see how vicious this crusted guy is. We're going to make a monitor episode and we look like how vicious this crusted guy is. Let's see what's going on here. Come here, you. Dude, he's going to attack you. Well, oh, he's eating a cricket. Oh, he's oh, eating a see? cricket. He thinks it's he's, me. He's occupied. Well, I guess that'd be the best. Here, can I just can I just assist? Yeah, you want to. There, let me just. Here, let me get that, buddy. You guys are crazy. There you go. There you go. See, nothing to be afraid of. You guys are crazy. Look at Bill jump. You guys are crazy. Yeah, but look. That is the sweetest, kindest, most gentlest crested gecko he ever. He ain't trying to bite me, Mike. He's a little guy. Oh, man. Are you crazy, like Mike said? I'm a little disappointed now. I think Mike was just talking it up. Yeah. Right. But look at this. I guess I maybe never gave Look at how chance. cute. Look at, uh, Mike, look at this. I mean, Really, give him a pet. Oh, you give, didn't even. I couldn't even him, scare you. You know you could give him. Give him a little pet. Give him a little pet. Give him a little love. Really? <laughs> wow. Oh, see? Wait a minute. Well, the irony too is that if you got bit by anything in your basement, you Look go to that. the ER. But that thing won't do anything yeah. if it bit you. But you're <laughs> nervous about it. <laughs> Oh, you're definitely curly. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely curly, dude. Oh, okay. And swing it. Let's oh, see now. Look at that. See, that gecko loves you. Behave. He loves me when he's out, but he don't love me when he's in. Okay, 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 All right. okay. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Back yeah, in we go. Right, this we most go. vicious, deadly creature there of the night. Go. So comment below. What are you guys afraid of? Is it a vicious crested gecko? Is it monsters under your bed? Is it Mike? Comment below, let me know what you guys are afraid of. Zilla has everything you need for your reptile pets, from caging to lighting and everything in between. To see their entire catalog and find out where you can get Zilla products near you, visit ZillaRules.com. So who do we have in these bins? These are my um, socialization cagings for my, my hatchlings. So uh -huh. I use these because all of these water monitors, they get, uh, their main source of safety is the water. So with that water underneath them, they're really not afraid of you at all. So you could just reach in there and they'll crawl right on you and well, I'll show you. Okay, so let's explain here real quick. Okay. What is a socialization cage? This is a, okay, so I'd like to tell everybody how smart I am, but it actually came about out of necessity. So it started off when I was breeding my uh, my Mertens and I've had so many of them. I had at one point I had 50 hatchlings here. 
So <clears throat> I had to separate them because I didn't have a big cage. So I took a uh, 40 breeder Exoterra, mm -hmm. typical monitor set up a water bowl, substrate, climbing, plants, the whole nine yards. And the other one, I said, you know what? I'm going to try to make it a little easier to clean. So I took the 40 breeder Exo, drilled a hole in the bottom, put a valve on it, all water bottom, no substrate, and only one cork tube that stretched across that I drilled a bunch of holes into. So they get the security feeling very safe inside the tube, yet I could still see them in there, monitor their health, feed them through the holes. Sure. And I noticed the ones in the socialization caging system were really tractable. They'd swim right up to me. They wouldn't hide from me. They wouldn't run. While the other ones in the normal, typical monitor setup where it took it took months to socialize those where it took weeks to socialize the ones in my socialization caging so from there of course like everything else it kind of expands and grows and i came up with this design for these so my theory on it is their number one source of security in the wild would be as hatchlings everything wants to eat them yeah so they're hanging in branches and they're hanging out in weeds and branches 90% of the time they're going to be over water. Something gets them in a tree, they jump to the water, right. which they have a better chance because they can swim down and get up under the weeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really feel in my heart of hearts that that security feature for them makes them super comfortable. So, uh, you know, like I say, these guys, you, you come in here with crickets, they'll come and eat them right out of your hand. And I believe it's because of the water. But as you can see, they're not afraid of you. They just, they do real good like this. And my son Angelino, he can come down here and put a cricket in his mouth and they'll come and eat it right out of there. Is that right? Right out of his lips. Yeah. That is fantastic. Yeah. So um, this setup works really good for socializing water type monitors. So when I, when I seen how well this worked with, to meet their security needs, I was like, I wonder how that's gonna work with the Togis. So I made a larger setup than this for my Togis when I got them. Now, when I, when I got these Togis, the, the reason that they got rid of them is because they said when they walked into the room, as soon as they touched their doorknob and turned it, all they would hear is bing, 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 bing. Their Toji in is smashing off the walls because they're very yeah. nervous. So I thought, you know what? Let me try the socialization caging with these guys. And so, this is what we got over here. And this is what we got over here. As you can see, it's not, he's gonna be a little nervous at a light, but <clears throat> he's not bouncing off of the walls. All of them will crawl right up on my arm. And this is my most beautiful male Toji that I have. There's really not a common name, so they, they would just call it a Togian water monitor, which they're actually not a water monitor, more of a forest monitor, like a peach throat. Kind of looks like a black dragon. It, it really looks like a melanistic lace monitor on the head. There you go, yeah. So that's why I always like them. And then they have the the white zebra striping on their throat and their chest, and then the white rings around their nose. I just love them. They and, are and cool. You can see he's giving you a little threat display, so how they diamond out their throat like that. Right. That's just stunning to me. Wow. Well, you uh, can we get him out? <laughs> uh, yeah, I could try. Yeah, he's not a crested gecko. I mean, don't be afraid. Yeah, well, you know what? That's a never crested gecko. No. Never. For the rest of our lives. You know what? For the rest of our lives together, I am going to gonna not let you live that down, and neither is anybody geckos. watching right now. I got you. So yeah. the only difference between the crested gecko and this, if this oh, guy latches on to you, you're going to the hospital. So gotcha. While he seems to like me, and all my Toji's really seem to like me, still don't trust him just yet, because I don't want to take a bite from him. All right. But let me get a quail and see if I can get him to come out on my hand. All right. So from this point on, everybody, while well, Mike is out of the room, everybody never let him live down that he's afraid yeah. of a crested guy. Please. Please, please. We just in a day. You see Mike at Tinley? Come up and like show them a crested gecko. Show them all of the crested. Everybody, crest like, keep a picture of a crested gecko on your phone when you see Mike at Tinley. Go up and show oh. him the picture of the crested. Show him gecko. all the crusties yeah. you bought. Shh, shh, here he comes. He's coming back. Okay. 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 All right. Mike's back with the quails. So people ask all the time how I feed. I feed every day, and how I supplement. So I always use Sticky Tongue Mineral Mineral uh, Sticky Tongue Farm Mineral for indoor use. And uh, no joke, this is every day. 
that's what my females and males get every day a dose like that a dose like that yeah so i don't ever worry about calcium crashes crashes from uh, you know over egg production yeah. so here we're gonna try all right this is that you, you gotta understand something i named him oj <laughs> and there's a reason i named him oj he don't got the dagger but he got the teeth so if oj if you're watching Come on and see the room sometime. OJ's in prison. Is he? No, I thought he got out. Oh, maybe. I don't Technicality. know. Technicality. Whatever. I, he's back in prison for some Oh, time. is he really? Oh, is he? I don't know. I don't know. All right. All right. Here we go. Will you, Bill, will you hold Do you also hand? have a monitor named Nicole and Ron? No. No. See? No. Missed opportunity. Yeah. All right. Let's see this guy eat. Now, mind you. Six, there we go. Now, mind you, six months ago, he would... I couldn't even do this. He'd be bouncing off the wall. Right. So right. now I'll give him one of his real... Oh, he bet he loves those eggs. He loves them eggs. This is an animal that is maybe two years out of the wild as an adult. And for him to do this is absolutely amazing. And I, I really and truly believe and owe it all to this socialization caging system. That is revolutionary. It is. It really is. All right. So we are going into oh this... This whole new. new place so this, this is, is brand new. new from the last time i was here um oh. you getting into uh no those are my sons they oh, are these are your sons all of these pythons corn snake over here corn snake is my daughter's i'm keeping that okay that one's not for sale but uh what's he nine why is he getting out of ball pythons there's he's the ball python market is stronger than ever you know what it's not stronger than the ford mustang uh Thing he's on now he's all he wants parts oh, so he, car. He, he's now out of snakes and now he's into cars now he's into cars and honey drippers and honey drippers yep what's a what's a honey dripper other than robert plant's band in the 80s yeah is that what it is well yeah it's you know robert like plant's women. one record band in the 80s the honey drippers Dude, that's honey, what he's I into mean, honey dripper Honey How much is that vintage drip. album though i don't know what's he talking about that vintage vinyl yeah, you guys i know. think he's talking hey, like for women yeah. Women. I think Dominic women. likes girls now instead of yeah, yeah. yeah, I shouldn't say women. He's young yet. So girls. Yeah, girls. He's, he's liking girls. All right. Which they take more money than all these reptiles. I'm we saying. All know that. Hey. Sorry, Sarah. But That's right. Eight kids, you think he'd learn a lesson from the old man? Maybe he's got the same <laughs> thing as me. I don't know. <laughs> Honey drippers. I never I, heard that before. I did not know that meant girls. Yeah. I didn't know. Wow. I didn't know where that comes Mike, from. you know, I learned something not about reptiles every time I'm over here, but about life, about life in general. Life. So who do we have in here? I mean, are these more? These, these are just more socialization caging systems. And I made this this rack particularly for my 1.2 togies this is the first uh varanus togienis of the the five that i have that became friends with me hi buddy he's another good looking male he's just not as black as the uh, the other male oj mm -hmm. in the other room now for people that you know aren't familiar with this species how big do these guys get? This is big. This is big. Yeah, this is big. Four foot tops. Four foot tops. Right. Um, Not a lot known about the species. Anybody else kind of have the urge to go to the bathroom right now at all? It happens to me all the time. Yeah, yeah. They got pills for that now. I don't know if you... The, the, check check the, with your doctor. They're not blue, are they? Well... <laughs> you know what happened at last time I choked on a blue one. You got a stiff neck? Stiff neck. Ha, ha, ha. The jokes never start. And this guy, usually he'll come right to me. So, unfortunately, we caught him at night. He'll smell that. Come on. You can do it. You can do it all night long. Well, so, how about if the battery's dying, we'll go see the honey dripper. Honey dripper. Uh, what the hell is that? I still don't know where that word comes from. Honey dripper. I don't we're we're going to have to hear a story later about honey, honey uh, dripper. where that you name comes from. You don't know what honey dripper is. You're not doing the ladies right. Well, I would argue that I'm doing them right, but I don't know what you, the word means. Though. Well, okay. <laughs> there you go. Well, now you know. When, when you, uh, them Sarah. meaning one, I'm married, Sarah. One woman I'm doing right. So you, She's going to kill me for this whole conversation. You have right. one honey dripper. I have one honey dripper. So right. Right. Is that a honey drop? That's a honey yeah, drop. A honey drop, yeah. You have to tell us where that term comes from. I, I just... Um, okay, so what do you got in the trash can there? Look, look, you can see. What's in there? See them? I oh, check it out. That's a female. That's a female. I told you, and I do believe she's grabbing. She's pretty plump right now. Just waiting for her to lay eggs. It's a heated nest box. 
it's basically just a little trash can full of uh, substrate. And so you just turn it into an egg box. Yep. You know, it really breaks my heart to see somebody throw away a perfectly good toji like that. Oh, yeah. You know, Honey Drippers, it is always an amazing time coming over here to Mike's monitors. He always has something so amazing to see something new every time I'm here, and there will definitely be a fourth visit and a fifth and a sixth and so on to Mike's monitors. So guys, there's lots more reptile adventures coming up. As a matter of fact, while you're watching this, I am in Southeast Asia. Uh, I don't know my upload schedule, so I'm either in Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, or back in Australia as you're watching this. Hit that subscribe button when you do hit that bell so you do not miss those episodes. And as always, thanks for watching, and until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.